What is up, guys? Stas here. So another day in the books for the stock market. And let me tell you guys, today was not the most exciting day when it comes to the indexes by any stretch of the imagination. We pretty much broke even across the S&P, Dow, and the NASDAQ, but the Russell actually went down a good chunk, 0.7% in the red. So pretty boring type of day in the stock market today. We had the VIX up 1.5%, gold and silver each up around half a percent, and we had oil up. Let me pull it up and show you guys up to 92 bucks a barrel big move for oil up around 1.6 percent on the day and you guys probably saw palantir actually inked out a green day up 13 cents 0.8 percent on the day so we're going to break down palantir in this video maybe the markets later in the video and just a bunch of charts my thoughts all that good stuff so if y'all find value hit the like button make sure to subscribe and of course guys don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for mumu each up to two thousand dollars use that link down below or just simply go to stocksurfest.com slash mumu get your stocks we'll talk more about that later and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so check it out palantir again ended up inking out a green day today up 0.8 percent pretty good and we actually got a buy rating this morning or an outperform rating from Wedbush I believe I think they reiterated their outperform rating yeah Wedbush reiterates outperform on Palantir Technologies and they're maintaining their $25 price target so I'm not sure who the most bullish uh you know firm or analyst is on Wall Street but 25 bucks price target, Wedbush outperform rating. They're definitely bullish, that's for sure. I mean, I've seen other targets at, you know, $14, $9, $10 for the bearish analysts. Uh, but it looks like Wedbush is still, you know, pretty bullish. Reiterating outperform rating with $25 price target. That is, you know, very interesting. And again, now we're at $15 and pretty much $0.50. Cents. We're right in the middle there, $15.50. So we can see here. We hit the lows this morning, or uh, not, not, not that we hit the lows, but we took out the lows from Friday. Friday, we ended up pretty much holding steady at around 15.20 all throughout the day. Uh, you guys can see here from pretty much 9.50 a.m. all throughout the day, literally. And today, this morning, we actually took out the lows from Friday. We got down to about 15.11. We didn't really break, you know, break through the lows too aggressively, uh, but we did get down to about 1507. The low from Friday was 15, uh, you know, 20 ish. And we ended up then rallying for the rest of the day. And kind of what I'm noticing here on the intraday chart, guys, is the fact that Palantir is still moving, uh, or not still, but it's moving pretty sideways here. Do you guys see this? Let me show you that. We have Clear support at around 15, 15, 15, but resistance over the past day, day and a half at about 15, 40 to about $15 and 50 cents. So we're kind of in this channel right now. We have to pick direction on the intraday chart and you guys can probably see it even better on the five day chart. Let me pull that up and show you. Yeah, you can see it even better here. So ideally for the bulls guys, um, you know, we break roughly 1560 tomorrow or, or at some point uh, later this week. Let me actually set my alert there at uh, 1560. Excuse me. I was going to say 1660. No, 1560 guys. Let me do that. Mark is out. We're above 1560. If that point breaks, we can then fill the gap probably to $16, $15.90, $16. Then if that were to break, my alert's at $16. Bucks, uh, you know, we could be going up even more from that point. So that's the five-day, five-minute on uh, Palantir. On the 10-day, we'll pull it up and show you guys. Now we're right at the 180 SMA. That's actually where we got rejected today on, uh, you know, today's, you know, the, the 18th on this 30-minute chart. We got hit right at 1560, so that needs to break. That, you know, makes it an even bigger spot that needs to break, which if we do clear that point, we could fill the gap again, like I said, up to 16, maybe even higher from that point if 16 is able to break. And if I show you guys this 20-day chart, you all probably remember what I called out a couple of videos ago. We mentioned the ascending triangle on Palantir. Uh, you guys can see here we have clear higher lows that have been made ever since the middle of August, so about a month now. Uh, you know, we hit, you know, 1350 14 bucks. We hit around 1450. We held above 15 bucks. So we held higher lows. And, you know, now we have resistance again at 16 bucks. That needs to break. That's been a multi, uh, you know, multi week resistance. And if that does break, we get the leg up. We could be going a lot higher. Dare I say towards 20, maybe even 25 bucks like Wedbush thinks 
Palantir could go to. And another thing worth mentioning, I can't say it enough. I always have to mention this when we talk about Palantir stock guys and, and you know, do these updates. We still have a head and shoulders clear as day. I mean, this is very obvious um, on Palantir. It's still clear as day. And for the Bulls, uh, you know, to, to get out of this again, we have to break the neckline, which funny enough happens to be at 16 to about 17 bucks. So let's see what direction uh, Palantir ends up picking. It's been pretty quiet the past month. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's been very quiet. You guys probably have noticed that. But I have a feeling, you know, we're getting to the point where volume might start kicking up again. We have earnings coming up pretty soon here. I don't know. We'll see. I think there's going to be some movement here. Uh, maybe not necessarily to the upside, you know, maybe even to the downside. I don't know, but we're going to have to pick direction pretty soon. It's coming, guys. So I'm keeping my eyes glued on Palantir. PLTR is the ticker. And before we look at some other stocks, guys, and maybe break down the indexes, don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo. I'm telling you guys, this is the best promo right now by far. Use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And by the way, each of those could be valued up to $2,000. And listen to this, guys, the best part of the promo your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks for a limited time the clock's ticking you also get a free share of either tesla stock or google stock which makes this promo a no-brainer so get on it guys what are you waiting for use that link down below or again go to stasurfest.com slash mumu and that is an affiliate link full disclosure it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's take a look at some other names here i mean again the indexes didn't do much, so there's not much to break down there. Uh, okay, fine. The Russell did go down about 0.7%. Uh, but, you know, it's other than that, we didn't do much of anything. And it looks like here, the head and shoulders we talked about is playing out still. And honestly, this should not, what happened today with the Russell should not surprise you if you've been watching the YouTube channel, guys, because we outlined this a couple of days ago. And, you know, and by this, I mean the head and shoulders. And this has been playing out pretty uh Pretty textbook, guys. Pretty too, uh, pretty, you know, what's the word here? Either way, uh, it's been playing on point like a textbook, head and shoulders. You guys know what I mean. So, yeah, let's break down some other stocks that did pretty well today. Groupon's one that I mentioned, I think, last week. This is a very high short interest play. Uh, this is up or went up 10% on the day today, and it's, I think, 35% short interest, something crazy like that. And today completely started to break out, and now we're above the moving averages and the highs from last week. And to me, guys, this looks like 14 bucks wants to test, 14.30 to be exact, which was the high from the end of August. And if that were to break, man, oh, man, you better get ready, guys. Groupon, although the company could be failing, it very well could be. In the short term, man, this thing could catch fire even more. Momentum could kick in, and who knows? We could be going 15, 16. I'm not even sure what the all-time high is. I'm assuming it's a lot higher, yeah, from where we are now. Yeah, look at that, guys. Jeez, this thing, are you freaking kidding me? $600? Get out of town. I mean, I mean they must have done uh, some splits, but this thing split adjusted was $600 freaking dollars. Could you imagine paying that for, uh, for Groupon back in 2011? Oh, my goodness. That is insane. Uh, but clearly, they're, you know, they're not going in the right direction. This is not, you know, made any money at all. I mean, for well, I guess if you shorted it over the years, yes, you've made money. But buying the stock, you're not going to make money on it. And obviously, shorts are, you know, driving this thing to the ground. But throughout that process of shorts driving this thing to the ground, we've been getting some crazy, some gnarly moves to the upside. And what we've seen recently, man, this thing is insane. Uh, it's going from three bucks to thirteen bucks, and I think the momentum—it doesn't look like it wants to slow down right now. And for that reason, I'm watching it very, very closely. So, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. It's free. Follow me on Twitter as well at Stocks Talk Stocks. Link down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.